Hey everybody, Rob Rosenberger here for Mostly 22 LR. I wanted to take a little bit of time out and give you a, a quick update on some of the things that have happened here on the channel. And two, I want to make sure that you understand about some of the irons that I've got in the fire for videos in the future so that you know that there's a lot more videos coming as the winter kicks in. Uh, first and foremost, I want you to know that there are no more ads on Mostly 22 LR. I kind of got tired of them. And two, uh, there's only about 75 subscribers right at the moment, so there's no real revenue stream available to me, and I'm not going to bother you guys who are hanging in with me right now at the very beginning, my charter subscribers, as I would call you. So, congratulations, no more ads. I'm happy about it, too. Uh, also, too, you'll notice if you click on the subtitles button, that's the little closed captions button, you'll see captions and subtitles here on mostly 22LR videos. This is a, a bonus that I do for people who are deaf or hard of hearing. You can do it too. Sometimes I do it as well for some of the uh, uh, more professional videos that you'll see from, uh, really I can't think of any right off the moment that are, that are in the, uh, the shooting industry, but if there are, that's great. Mostly 22LR, uh, because of my uh, skills as a tech writer, it's easy for me to do these. They're timed correctly. You'll, I think you'll like them. Turn it on just click that little button down there, the closed caption button. See if you like it. If you don't, shut it off. If you do, keep it on. Uh, also, too, uh, Twang and Bang says it best. Be sure to click like on this video. You need to tell YouTube that you like firearms-oriented programming. Uh, Twang and Bang has got that absolutely right. If we don't tell them that, they might decide that we need to be taken off the air. So go ahead and click that like button. And Rated RR says it. Be sure to to pull the trigger on that subscribe button and go ahead and subscribe. I pump out new videos every Wednesday at about 1 a.m. Eastern Time, so feel free to, to put that in your subscriber channel list and you'll see me pop up every Wednesday. Uh, let's see here. It's tough for me to see with all these uh, sunglasses on. Um, if you have a suggestion or comment, you know, there's only 75 subscribers right at the moment. I read every comment that comes in. YouTube is telling me whenever they come up, I'm really happy about that feature. And uh, you see, uh, I see every comment that you write. So if you've got a suggestion for a video, or if you've got something that might be a little bit controversial that maybe 22 Plinkster might not do, or Hickok 45 might not do, I'm a little bit more um, forward with my opinions. So don't be afraid to give me a suggestion that might be a little bit controversial tell you a little bit about what happened to me over the summer. I uh, had a wedding come up in September. Uh, also, too, I took a vacation in the Midwest, and that pretty much wiped out all of my weekends in September that I would have used to film YouTube videos. Uh, this summer was pretty bad. There was a lot of heat and humidity in South Carolina, and then on top of that, those banshee cicadas were just racketing up a storm. It was really tough for me to do videos. And then third, Eh, sometimes I'm anal retentive. I get a little OCD. I filmed the uh, Get Gouged Less video, Get Gouged Less for 22LR, and I filmed it indoors, didn't like it, threw the whole thing out. Filmed it outdoors, didn't like it, threw the whole thing out. Finally, I had a video coming up at a professional studio for another channel that I run, and I had a little bit of spare time, and I ran that video off, and that's the video that you see when you see Get Gouged Less for Plinking Ammo. That takes time. I lost three weekends doing that, basically, so I hope you'll forgive me. Sometimes I get a little bit anal. And these can... This is some of the reason why I'm, I'm kind of short on videos right at the moment. But I do have a lot of videos in the fire. That's what the notes are for. I have the 200-yard test coming up for CCI-0074 versus CCI-0056 to see if 74's trajectory matches 56's trajectory all the way out to 200 yards. Now we tried that experiment in the heat of the summer and frankly I wasn't pleased with the results. So not that the experiment failed or succeeded but that I wasn't pleased with the way the experiment itself ran and we need to rerun that experiment. Now the next time that uh, I get access to that 200 yard range is October 18th and that's going to be the really thank you to uh, cwpsumpter.com. If you need a uh, concealed weapons permit in South Carolina, I hope you'll check them out. They're really fantastic guys. The, I mean, really top notch. I'm, I might end up filming them just so that I can put a 22 up there and show you that you can, you can solve your concealed weapons permit problem with nothing more than a simple Ruger 22. <laughs> And I've done that twice already. I'll have to do it a third time, which means I'll probably need to buy another gun. Shooter's choice, keep me in mind. Um, 
Also, one of my rifle barrels has gone middle age, as I would like to say. Uh, it's had eight or nine thousand rounds through it, and the ammo that I used to prefer in that in that rifle was CCI 0056. But as I've been doing these mostly 22 LR videos, I've noticed that that rifle is not shooting as accurate as it used to, not by any stretch of the imagination. So what we need to do is we need to sit down and we need to experiment with that rifle to see if it's the rifle if it's the shooter or if maybe it's the ammo. There are a number of things that can go wrong here. There are a number of things that can change here. There are a number of things that can just be issues that need to be resolved. We're going to find out with that rifle. And uh, I accidentally bought two bull barrels. I only meant to buy one, but I bought two bull barrels because they were on sale. <laughs> they were on sale! <clears throat> anyway, I bought two bull barrels and I've decided that I'm going to turn these bull barrels into a 100 yard and a 200 yard hyper velocity ammo uh, shooter. Whichever one is the more accurate is going to be the one that shoots 200 yards. And then I'll keep the less accurate one and I'll zero that at 100 yards. I bought some scopes for them, some high powered Mueller scopes. Unfortunately, Midway USA packed the box wrong and 12 pounds of ammunition was slamming up against it and the box broke open. One of the uh, one of the scope boxes had twisted, the other box was physically bent. There was a lot of problems inside that box. I filmed it for Midway USA and I might release some of that video to show you. Now Midway USA has already said we'll return them, we'll replace them. Whatever you want to do, Mr. Rosenberger, we'll be happy to do it for you. And this is the kind of quality that I expect out of Midway USA. We're going to test those scopes. Now looking through them just as a cursory experiment, they seem to show a true field of vision. But we're going to find that out, and we're going, to, we're going to learn it the hard way together with the videos on these bull barrels. And then I had an argument, I suppose it was more of a debate than an argument with a centerfire enthusiast. Oh, you can't have some insanely simple method for, you know, for breaking in a barrel. It's all the same. You've got to put hundreds of rounds through it, and it's got to be really anal retentive. And I'm like, you know what, dude, I'll do it just to prove to you that it's really stupidly simple. Uh, the... We're going to do one barrel, and we're going to do it the insanely simple way, and then we're going to take the other barrel, and we're going to do it the other way, and then we're going to, from there, we're going to test how accurate those rifles are. So there's going to be a second experiment within the re just putting these new rifles together to see how far they can shoot and how accurate they can shoot. Those bull barrels are going to get a, a good test out of them. Uh, I have a new... Uh, I have a new idea for a video that continues the series that I've been doing on the perceptions of a 22LR shortage versus the realities of a 22LR shortage. And one of the realities of the 22LR shortage is now that all people, all companies that sell 22LR pistols and revolvers and, and rifles now have to carry bench stock ammo. We need to do a series on that one alone, and I'm hoping to go to Shooter's Choice, which is a, a good gun store in Columbia, South Carolina, sit down with them and talk to them about how they're implementing the concept of bench stock ammo. Now, this is a new concept that only came up in 2013, and I want to get their ideas, and I want to hear what they have to say about it. We need to understand from the, from the FFL's perspectives what they're up to. And I think Shooter's Choice is going to go with it. They might not. They're a business and sometimes they, they kind of cringe at these things, even though I'm trying to put them in a good light. It's up to them. If they don't go with it, I've got other options and I'll pursue them if we cross that bridge. Um, also, uh, I know somebody's going to ask sooner or later, why did I go with Marlins over Ruger's? Long story, but I'll shorten it and I'll put that in a video. Um, if you've seen some of the things, uh, there are oil filter adapters that you can purchase. People think that these adapters are illegal as hell in the United States because you can then screw an oil filter onto your, onto your rifle and you can now shoot it suppressed, which is, granted, if you don't have a permit for that, if you don't have a tax stamp and a serial number on it, yeah, that's illegal as hell. But I don't use it for that purpose. I use it for lawful purposes to clean my rifles in an RV. And I want to show you that you can actually do that without fear of the BATF coming after you because you own one of these things. They are legal to own for lawful purposes. And I'll talk to you. And they are a, guard, a godsend for RVers. Uh, let's see here. What have I got? Uh, finally, uh, I do like to have fun with my hats of the day. Uh, as you can see, I'm bald so I tend to wear a baseball cap. If you've got a baseball cap or a trucker hat that you would like to see on Mostly 22LR, I'll put, a, I'll put a, uh, uh, 
an address in the description for this video and you can mail it to me. I'm not going to pay you for it, but I'll be happy to wear it once, twice, three times in a video and then I'll carefully wash it. I do a hand wash and then I will donate it to Goodwill so that you get a little bit more publicity out of it. I don't expect that anybody will send me their hats, but hey, you never know. So that's basically the things that we've got in the fire. Remember again, closed captions and subtitles. If you click that little CC button down there in the lower, uh, I think it's in the lower right hand corner, go ahead and click that and you can actually read what I'm talking about, including as you see it here on this video, you'll be able to read it with closed captions. I'm really proud of that point. I don't know of any other, any, certainly no 22LR channel is doing it, and I don't think any center fire channel is really putting that much effort into it. So. I hope you'll join me with that and have a great time as the person who's actually reading it. Give me some comments and suggestions. 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 Uh, pfft, you'd think that I would stop at this point and redo it. I'm not going to redo this video. Cut! No, pfft, forget that. So again, I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll click the like buttons on every video that you watch. If you don't like them, hey, go ahead and click the down like. I, I get that too. There are certain videos I do that too as well. So tell me what you think. And uh, I hope you have a great time. Again, I'm Rob Rosenberger for Mostly 22 LR. And remember, 22 LR is real ammunition. Treat it as such.